When Quen releases, it stays released. Quen, after five months, has released yet another version of their vision language model in 32 billion parameter size. And that is what we are going to install locally in this video. And then we will try it out on various images. This new model is a new generation vision language multimodal model that has been part of the Quen family. Plus, it is an advancement from Quen to VL. This new model incorporates a range of enhanced capabilities and improvements in the architecture and functionality. If you look at its architectural diagram, it is quite telling, I would say. So if you look here, what is happening in simple words is that it has got improved visual understanding where it is recognizing diverse objects beyond common entities like flowers, birds and insects. It is also capable of detailed scene analysis, understanding texts, charts, icons, graphics and complex layouts present within images. It is also capable of behaving as an active agent which means that a visual assistant or virtual agent to reason, make decisions and interact dynamically with tools. It can also execute computer-like or smartphone-like operations by reasoning on visual input effectively. There are a lot of other goodies which are happening here. For example, it can even handle long duration video content over one hour. Yes, that's correct. And it has the newly introduced ability to pinpoint and capture specific events or segments of interest within lengthy video sequences. Okay, so let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me take you to my virtual environment. So this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. And this system and this GPU card has been sponsored by Mast Compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let's go back and let me create a, a virtual environment with Konda. And next up, I'm going to install Torch, Torch Vision, Transformers and also Decord from Quen's VL Utilities because that is needed for video understanding. So you can, this mod you can use this model for images and videos alike. So let me run this and this is going to take two to three minutes. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And you will also find the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's wait for this to get installed. And everything is installed, including flash attention. Let me launch my Jupyter notebook. And by the way, flash attention is not mandatory, but I would highly recommend, especially if you are trying to do uh, the video understanding. Plus, of course, if you have a later and recent and modern GPU card. And now let me download my model. So I'm just going to go with the full model with the help of transformers. And the model is being downloaded as you can see there are 18 shards of it so the speed looks quite good today so it shouldn't take too long and the model is downloaded let's do the inference now and for the inference i am following the usual prompt template where we are giving it a local image which is this one and that is jakarta's monas uh, monument and I'm asking it where is this location and how can I get to it from Sydney, Australia. And then I am passing this as a prompt template. It is encoding it through in tokenizer, generating the output and giving us the response back after decoding it. So let me run this. And the model has returned the response where it has detected the location very correctly that it is Jakarta, Indonesia. And then it is a national monument which is uh, in Monument Nacional, abbreviated as MONAS. And then it is talking about how can I get there through from Sydney. So, yep, it's a, the airport names are correct for both of the cities, for Sydney and for Jakarta. And then it is talking about some of the airlines which go there. And then also an advice about the entry and visit. So, 
really really comprehensive answer i think it has improved a lot you can really see it next let's test out its ocr capability so i'm just going to go with the hard one where i am giving it some of the typed writing some handwritten and some other you can see the tcg sort of stuff so and i'm just asking it to extract the text from them so let's see and it's very quick it has given us the response so let's compare so yeah my handwriting an exam then first two pages if you read through the second it has actually done wonderfully well even that full stops are fine you see the the first one you know the handwriting it has uh, it is not complete it just finishes at in the and it has detected it very rightly and then middle pages are right making the yep and then last two pages it says that the text is represented as heartbeat ecg humorously implying the handwriting has deteriorated to under okay so that is you see that is a model intelligence there is no maybe it is it's up to you maybe you could just say that model is trying to be extra uh, clever or hallucinating or simply just you know offering a, its own opinion but i think it has detected it fine but it has just added its own touch here so pretty good i would say next up let me show you how you can do the video inference so i'm just giving it the path to a local video which i will show you shortly and then similarly i'm just describing the video input then we are encoding it with tokenizer model is processing it generating the output and then we are displaying it back so let me run this uh, but before i run it let me quickly show you the video so this is just a video which i created uh, some time back as part of another uh, video there is a cat just doing something on top of a hill so this is a vi video just 10 second long so let's go back and let me run it and there you go it has given us the response that in this video a playful cat appears to be energetically performing martial arts or dance like poses outdoors against a scenic mountainous backdrop that's true with upright and agile stances the cat repeatedly raises and moves its paws as if mimicking a kung fu or karate routine so look um, i think not only it has inferred the video correctly but also the language and the coherence of the sentences are really good and it has really improved a lot so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching